hopes are high here in Westmoreland as the Eagles prepare for the start of a new season. Last year, the Eagles advanced to the second round of the state playoffs. This year, the goal is to make it even further into the postseason. It won't be long before the Westmoreland Eagles kick off a new season. Coach Chad Perry begins his second year as head coach of his alma mater. He knows it's his job to continue the outstanding tradition at Westmoreland. One of the things that goes back to when football started here, there's a huge uh, tradition here at Westmoreland High School uh, that we take pride in. Um, you know, whether it be the previous coaching staff, my assistant coaches, staffs long before me, the staff that was here when I played, uh, it's never been, you know, any kind of secret that we're going to try to play hard nosed physical football. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're always, uh, you know, lean toward the run or oriented style of offense and we try to play really aggressive defense. So, you know, uh, the tradition that's been put in place here for a long time uh, by a lot more people, you know, before I ever got here uh, is just still in place. And we try to just keep, you know, trying to build on those on those traditions. The players say practice has been going well so far. They're ready to kick things off later this month. We're getting a lot of work done every practice and. Uh, we're getting a lot of work done in team offense especially, so it's looking pretty good. We're just trying to get everything down so we can just come out and be ready to win some games. The playoffs are always expected around here, but to host a playoff game, the Eagles must finish first or second in their region. A tall order considering Watertown and Trousdale County stand in the way. It would be big. The whole town would be out here supporting us. and. We'd, we just have to win and show them what, what we got. That's one of my main goals and one of the team's main goals is to have a playoff game at home. The thing is getting across to our kids that we can, you know, uh, compete with those guys and uh, not beat ourselves, you know, give ourselves a chance to be in a football game, you know, be in a football game late in the, ga in the game against those teams that dominated our region for quite some time. So, you know, uh, we, we try to erase, you know, the past, uh, you know, uh, we try to erase what happened last year. New season, new teams. They've got new season, they've got new teams. And, you know, uh, it's a clean slate for everybody. So we try to approach it from a standpoint that, you know, we put our work in. Uh, we put our work in the weight room and, uh, you know, we're not going to leave anything uh, in the tank when it comes to playing any game on our schedule, uh, especially our region games. The Eagles kick off the new season August 23rd at Livingston Academy. You can watch Westmoreland football games all season long right here on NCTV. The games will air daily on Channel 97 at 6 p.m. and at 4 a.m. Next week, we'll wrap up our high school football season preview coverage with a visit to Macon County High School. Reporting from Westmoreland, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.